Uh, great people, welcome to Nemtik channel. My name is Nehemiah, and uh, this is lesson 9 on NumPy Random. We are going to discuss uh, logistic distribution. But then, uh, guys, uh, please subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed. And uh, to the returning subscribers, I thank you very much for your continued support. And uh, without further ado, guys, uh, let's begin straight away. Now, first of all, let's understand what is logistic distribution. And so, uh, basically, logistic distribution is used to describe growth. And uh, it is extensively used uh, in machine learning, in logistic regression, uh, neural networks, and uh, so forth. It has uh, three parameters. The first one is log, or a mean. This is where the peak is. The default value is zero. And then uh, we also have the scale or a standard deviation. This is the flatness of the distribution. The default value is one. And then uh, we also have the size, of which is the shape of the returned array. So, uh, Giza, let me show you an example, perhaps, to draw a two-dimensional array with the three elements, samples from a logistic distribution, perhaps with a, uh, with a, mean, with a mean at one, and that is log, and uh, the standard deviation, I'll give it two. Uh, remember standard deviation, I said it is uh, the scale. And so, uh, the first thing that you want to do before anything is to import random, and uh, we are going to import random from uh, NumPy. So, from NumPy, uh, from NumPy, import, import, uh, random, I uh, import random, and then now uh, we are going to create an object with variable x. And then I'm going to assign it to random method random uh, dot logistic logistic, and then uh, we are going to add several parameters here. The first one is log. Remember, log is the same as mean. Uh, this is where the peak is. So if you do not specify the value. It's going to be 0 by default, but then I'm going to assign it to 1. And then uh, also, I'm, gonna, I'm going to give it a scale or uh, the standard deviation of 2. Remember, if you do not specify it, it will be 1 by default. So I'm going to give it scale. And the standard deviation, I'm going to assign it to, uh, to 2. And then uh, the, uh, the size, remember size is the shape of the returned array. I'm going to give it... Um, a two-dimensional array with the three elements in it and then uh, guys are to uh, run these codes at the terminal but then uh, before that we are going to use the print function to run the codes and then uh, uh, you click on the run button to execute the codes at the terminal and then I uh, guess you can see that we have, ju we have just you know returned uh, these uh, uh, two-dimensional array with the three elements in each array and so let me show you now how to visualize this uh, logistic distribution. Let me first of all copy this first line of code, then uh, let me paste it here, and then I uh, guess I'm going to import also matplotlib. Remember, matplotlib.pyplot is an object that helps us to visualize uh, these arrays in the in the graph. So what I do, guys, uh, here, let me say import. Uh, it should be import. I uh, import mat. Uh, matplotlib dot uh, pyplot pyplot by uh, pyplot but then I guess you can see it's a, it's a long name to use it so I'm gonna use a shorter version of it of which is an alias is a uh, plt so guys uh, this plt stand for this uh, matplotlib dot pyplot the shorter version of this matplotlib so that we may not struggle you know typing a lot in the uh, in our in our codes, also I'm gonna import the uh, the the what I'm gonna I'm gonna import the Sibon also as an alias uh, S N S uh, S N S Sibon. So now here I'm gonna in this line of code I'm gonna say S N S to visualize S N S dot uh, this uh, this uh, plot this plot. And then again, here I'm going to add another method here, a method called random, a random, a random dot, uh, dot logistic, dot logistic, a uh, logistic. And then uh, here in these uh, parameters, the first one I'm going to give it, uh, basically I'm going to give it the size, the size perhaps let me give it um, 100, 1000, perhaps 1000. 
then I'm gonna remove the histogram. So the histogram guys that to remove it, we're going to use the boolean here. Uh, the the false value. I remember false is a is a building uh, keyword in Python. You cannot use it as an is a is a variable name or a, you know such stuff because it's a building a keyword in Python. It's a boolean. And so uh, once we are done here, guys, uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna use the PLT. Remember the PLT is the same as uh, this uh, matplotlib.pyplot, plot, but then I will use it as an alias PLT. And then now dot show to visualize. Uh, remember it's a function, so you must close with the and these are two empty what brackets, you know, rounded brackets. And so guys, uh, before I run this course at the terminal, here I forgot to say is we are going to import this uh, C bon as an alias. So I forgot to add this uh, S. So what I do, um, let me now run this codes at the terminal. And then uh, guys, you can see that, uh, let me zoom out first of all, for you to see better. And then uh, guys, you can see that we have done what we have just, you know, visualized this uh, logistic uh, distribution. Uh, and so guys, uh, let's now understand the difference between logistic and a normal distribution. Remember, both uh, distribution are near identical, but then a uh, logistic distribution has more area under the tails, uh, meaning uh, it represents more possibility of occurrence of an event further away from uh, the mean. Now, for higher value of scale, that is standard deviation, uh, the normal and the logistic distribution are near identical, apart from the peak. Guys, uh, perhaps let me show you an example. And so, uh, first of all, let me copy these uh, codes. Let me just uh, copy. And then uh, in this uh, new cell, let me just paste it here. But then, uh, guys, uh, let me try to zoom in for you uh, for you to see the codes uh, very well. And then, uh, guys, uh, here, I'm going to also use another line of code here for normal uh, distribution. And so here I'm going to see s and s s and s dot uh, dist dist plot uh, dist plot and then i'm going to add uh, another method here random a uh, random dot this one is a normal dot normal normal uh, dot normal then uh, uh, the scale parameter scale i'm gonna assign it to uh, perhaps let me give it two and then what is the size or the shape of the return array i'm gonna give it a 1000 so that it may resemble this one for a logistic and then uh, i'm gonna remove the histogram so let me say a uh, hist i'm gonna give it a false a false value and then uh, i'm gonna add another <coughs> another uh, argument here label label then uh, i'm gonna assign it to this one is, is normal so let me say uh, normal let me say normal and then also in this uh this one this one this logistic let me also add another label so let me say label and then uh, let me assign it to uh, let me assign it to logistic logis logistic logistic and then now uh, what i do is uh, let me now run this uh, codes at the terminal so that we may uh, compare so let me run the codes and then uh, guys, uh, let me first of all zoom out let me zoom out and then uh, guys, uh, you can see that uh, basically for higher values of scale or a standard deviation the normal and the logistic distribution are near identical apart from the uh, you know apart from the peak you know so guys uh, basically this is what i wanted to show you on logistic distribution and i think you've gained something please consider subscribing share the video to your friends so that we may gain more uh viewers and uh, followers and so uh until next time guys uh, this is nehemiah goodbye